Tonight, a community desperately praying for understanding and peace. While mourning three children just nine years old, the school's top administrator, a substitute teacher, and a custodian. Six lives cut short after a shooter opened fire inside of a private Christian school in Nashville. Tonight, new images from the crime scene are giving investigators insight into how the suspect planned the horrific attack and carried it out before she was shot and killed by Nashville police. America is in mourning again after a deadly school shooting. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. As families grieve their loved ones, investigators are promising now to release body cam video of their response to the terrifying 911 call. Tonight, we have team coverage of the shooting at the Covenant School in Nashville. We begin with Ken McLeod live in the Satellite Center. With Ken, I understand you have new information from police. Lisa, police have described the shooter as a transgender woman, despite several social media accounts where Audrey Hale seems to identify as a man. A search of the suspect's home has turned up evidence indicating this attack had been planned for some time. Things like a detailed, hand-drawn map of the Christian school where Hale was once a student. The sirens of first responders had barely gone silent before it was over. Team of five immediately went in the school, uh, went to where uh, gunshots were being heard, and engaged uh, the suspect. Police say that suspect was Audrey Hale, who police describe as a transgender 28-year-old former student at the Covenant School who was toting two assault weapons and a pistol, shooting through a locked side door to get inside, and then firing at arriving officers from an upstairs window. And those guns stole precious lives from us today in Nashville. Hale was killed by police in a second floor hallway, but only after slaughtering three nine-year-olds and three adults, including the head of school. Word of the shooting sent panicky parents scrambling to the scene. No parent should have to receive that call. No parent should have to go through anything like that. The 200 students here, preschool through sixth grade, had only recently gone through active shooter training, and some apparently used that knowledge to make their escape. I was told there were kids that evacuated into a wood line. They had the presence of mind to do that. It's, uh, it's sick. President Biden called the shooting heartbreaking and once again urged Congress to pass his long-stalled ban on assault weapons. We have to do more to stop gun violence. It's ripping our communities apart. At the Nashville home where the suspect lived, police found a detailed map Hale had drawn while planning the attack. They also found a manifesto but would not describe its contents. Authorities say it appears Hale purchased at least two of the guns legally. It's hard to stop a determined person who's done their homework. The rampage lasted 14 minutes. Uh, it could have been far, far worse. Just a few weeks ago, Tennessee's governor signed a new law banning gender-affirming health care for transgender children, angering the LGBTQ community. When asked tonight if that could factor into this investigation, the police chief acknowledged his detectives are looking into it. Live in the Satellite Center tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Ken, thank you.